I want to thank you very much. I got the picture. I read it. Okay, so I'll be more than happy to have a debate with you anytime you like, guy, because somebody like you who doesn't know a damn thing about what you're talking about, you want to have the conversation later, I'm happy to have it, buddy. But until that time, sit down and shut up. So I'm Joe Mangino from Beach Haven West, and I'm the co-founder of the New Jersey Organizing Project. Hey, I'm Amanda DeVecker Anir, and I am the director of the New Jersey Organizing Project. Obviously, after Sandy, there was a lot of damage in the area. I was working with a group that I had co-founded called START, Stafford Teachers and Residents Together. And our goal was to basically help people any way we can, which involved a lot of mucking out homes, you know, saving possessions, things like that. After Sandy, that it just felt like the kind of working class families and the, and the homes that I grew up with in my community, they just, they were the same. Um, no construction was happening, nothing was going on, you know, even like a year and a half, two years later. I had done that for about a year. When the calls began to change from, hey, can you help us rip out sheetrock or move furniture to, hey, our contractors ripped us off, our insurance company is not paying us our fair settlement, and we're in the state program and it's going nowhere. So those were things I had no idea how to do. I was good with taking a hammer to a wall. Um, and then fortunately I met Amanda DeVecca Rainier and we together with a few other people came up with the New Jersey Organizing Project. We started to talk to people from Seabright, you know, we really tried to talk to people from all over the region, um, down in Little Lake Harbor, um, up in Tom's River, and everyone was saying the same thing, that people were stuck. And our goal was to get Sandy families home and make sure they could afford to stay home. When our communities are in trouble, we stand up and speak out. My name's Fran Baranowitz. I live in Ventnor, New Jersey, a half a block from the Back Bay and I lost everything in Sandy. Hi, I'm Jody Stewart. I'm from Little Wake Harbor Township. August of 2016, I got a letter from the RREM. They want over $35,000 back from me because they say I duplicated. I had 42 inches of water in my home and I too lost everything. We went up to Trenton and gave to a senator and an assemblyman our thoughts on clawbacking. And this year I fought a lot on the health care battle because I'm Medicaid expansion and I see what's happening on Medicare and the cuts they want to do to certain programs. We presented it and they passed it in the Assembly and they passed it in the Senate, but Governor Christie wouldn't sign it. I'm a 60 year old woman who thought she had no voice. We stand up and we speak out. Hi, my name is Shannon Duffy. Uh, I've been working with NJOP for around a year and a half now. Hi, I'm Zane. Uh, I'm from Bricktown, New Jersey, and I'm a canvasser right now for New Jersey Organizing Project. Uh, so my name is James, uh, and I'm working with NJOP to highlight some of the infrastructure needs of Ocean County and the Jersey Shore and how you know six years after Hurricane Sandy, a lot of these needs still aren't met. I came to learn as I got a little bit older that politicians and people in power aren't always making the decisions that people really need. We're going around talking to people in the community and um, like on foot coming to their door like in person. Just this year how many towns in Ocean County and the Jersey Shore experienced uh, flash floods or nuisance flooding? One of the issues we're working on is health care. I don't want to see people in New Jersey and people in, the in this whole country being taken advantage of and not getting the respect that they deserve from their politicians and not getting the help that they need. As a diabetic, like I know what it's like when you're not really sure like what your medication that you need is going to come from. I'm Dee Daniels from Chadwick Beach, New Jersey. Hi, my name is Sharon and I live on Fairmount Avenue in Atlantic City. My mom had gotten a REM grant because um, her house was damaged in Sandy. When Sandy came, it was unlike many of the other storms that we had had. They um, sent me the final reconciliation document to sign, but they had an incorrect figure on it. And a couple of days after the storm, the odor of the sewage and the oil started coming up through the walls to where we were living upstairs. I called or I emailed Amanda at NJOP and she got right back to me and said, you're the second person we've heard of with that issue. We're going to get on it. When I was offered the REM grant, um, they let me know that my unmet need was 135000 The next thing I knew, I got corrected papers. I can't get home. 
I mean, this has been my home for 36 years. My husband died here, my mother died here, my children were raised here. Hi, my name is Angel Iguaras. I live in uh, Venner City, New Jersey. We stand up and we speak out. So we moved from a house, a real house, to a rental, from the rental to an hotel, from the hotel back to the rental. There's power in numbers, and you can't just give up. My name is Marian Ryan. I live in Chadwick Beach, Island, New Jersey. One afternoon, I get a call from Amanda, uh, and she said, we have a meeting with the chief of police and the mayor of Ventnor. With Sandy, I got, I received a grant about a year after it happened. So we sat down, the chief of police, right there in front of me. The, na the mayor was on my right, I was here. Other members of the NJOP were just sitting down there listening. And all of a sudden, I'm getting all different sorts of calls that I owe 38900 of that amount of money. They asked me to explain my problem. I explained it and I said, there's a sense of urgency here because my wife needs an operation. We could not stay in the hotel during the recovery period. I would like to help somebody the way I've been helped. And if I have any knowledge that I can give to somebody to help them, I'd like to be there. It was at that moment. Yeah, uh, that the chief of police said we're going to help you and tell your wife we'll take care of everything. My name is Colleen Forrest and I am a member of NJOP. We stand up and we speak out. The rental assistance was stopping. You know, I, I, I had run out and, and at that point in time NJOP went up to Trenton and there I am standing in the walls of Trenton and I'm, I'm pulling, pulling legislators aside. We stand up and we speak out. And JOP was able to get an extension in the rental insurance and I could stay, you know, for another six months and my house started going up. My name is Priscilla Robinson. I'm a community organizer with New Jersey Organizing Project and I lead on our economic security and dignity campaign. My name is Heather Schachter. I'm from Tom's River, New Jersey, and I'm a member of New Jersey Organizing Project, their economic securities and dignities campaign. It's really important to me that we protect programs like uh, Medicaid, Medicare, um, and the Affordable Care Act. My name is Doug Quinn. I'm a New Jersey Organizing Project member from Toms River, New Jersey. It's important to me because I'm a recovering addict myself, so I've been in the trenches and I've experienced some of these issues with the barriers to Medicaid, um, medically assisted treatment, uh, getting into rehabs. My house was flooded. I had three to four feet of water. I also had $250,000 of flood insurance. Uh, when I filed the claim, my flood insurance company tried to pay me 37 cents on the dollar. What we're trying to do, at least myself, is trying to ease a little bit of the pain and suffering in the world. NJOP is making real change. They're not just making noise. Be the change. Stand up, speak out, get involved, be a part of your community. If you don't have a seat at the table, you're probably on the menu. And so somebody should do something and that somebody is you. When you get a lot of voices, even though each one is thinking mine doesn't count, when you put them all together, it, it makes a huge difference. Stand up and speak out. We stand up and speak out. We stand up and we speak out. We stand up and we speak out. We stand up, we speak out. We stand up and speak out. We stand up and we speak out. We stand up and we speak out. We stand up and we speak out. We are NJOP.